right, here we are, final morning. I'm just getting the Falcon ready to go. And uh, if you want more of a universal indication that I need to rethink things, this morning everything is covered with an extremely fine layer of frost. And uh, just coming forward to, uh, along the, the side there to uh, get dock lines and stuff prepped for my arrival today because it's on the other side, I've nearly slipped off the boat like twice. If this had happened, if that happens while I'm at anchor or something, it's uh, very, very bad. So, and I mean a thick layer of ice, not, not, not ice, frost, and it's not like the white frost that you can see. I'm walking where there is no indication of frost and I'm hearing it crunch under my feet. It's literally covered everything, including the solar panels. So I don't even know how the solar panels are going to function when the sun comes up, but we'll find out. So, I'll check in with you later. Alright, so, here's the situation. I failed to launch at 7 a.m. as per my plan. Partly because the, low, the tides are so far out of whack. Uh, apparently, we're coming into low tide, according to uh, the information I have. Low tide is... Now, um, actually, 8.11 is the low, low tide. When I got out and got the engines fired and everything, I was showing uh, a depth of 5 feet, which is okay. As soon as I backed out of the slip, it hit like 4.3, and I couldn't get out. Um, I saw locals getting ready to uh, go out to work. I went and talked to them, asked them, and they said, yeah, it's right about right uh so high tide uh, around here isn't supposed to be until something like noon uh i can't wait till noon to uh to get out of here uh however i don't need a whole lot to get out of here um so uh Looks like I'm going to be launching 9, 10 o'clock. So I am stuck in this marina until the tide comes in enough for me to get out. All right. It is 1130. I finally got out of that place. I had to wait for the tide to come up. And I still risked it. And still, uh, I hit... Luckily, the bottom is extremely just soft muck, uh, but I hit bottom twice trying to find an approach path and finally managed to get out. The entire entryway was well below charted depths, so I could only creep out at like uh, two, two and a half miles an hour. But as you can see behind me, it's in my wake. I'm underway. It's 11.30 now. This is uh, one of the points that I was bringing up that uh, if a delay like this had happened, luckily I managed to make such good time yesterday, so I'm within st still within striking distance of going home. Uh, but if this had happened on, on the journey, I lost almost three hours of travel time just because I couldn't get out of where I was. So, uh, I'll check back in with you a little further down the road. Uh, it looks like once I make my final course correction and actually start heading back up the river, uh, I'm going to make the same kind of time as yesterday. So, wish me luck. Good part mustache here. Status update. It's noon. I know it hasn't been uh, a long time since my last update, but uh, when I got out here, 
I noticed my speed was almost up to 7 knots at the same throttle settings, so looks like I'm going to make the good time. However, just out of curiosity, I ran it up to full throttle. Now remember, I'm making 7 knots because I am currently with the tide and with the wind and everything. Um, to get seven knots. I kicked it up to full throttle just to see what happened. I got eight. I got the whole speed of the boat. Full power. And it wasn't just a run up and let it sit for a second or two. I ran it up until the speedometer stopped moving and was holding a steady speed. Eight miles an hour. So, that's a thing. Uh, but I'll check back in with you with a couple hours, actually, get some, get some distance under my belt. I've actually come an incredibly long way in the half hour since launch, so, um, maybe I'll make the good time today. All right, it is 2.47. I just passed the bridge. Um, really, really close. <laughs> so, so far, so good. Uh, yeah, there's no real good angle for me to shoot. Uh, but I'm so close now that I'm glued to the charts and everything. This is the white knuckle part. So, at least white knuckle for me, I'm not used to it. But the approach to the marina is rather difficult. Uh, which has always been something I've dreaded. So... Uh, but I just passed the bridge and uh, continue to wish me luck. Check in uh, once I have safely landed. Dread Pirate Mustache here. I don't know what time it is because I don't want to look at the clock. I just know that the sun's about to go down, so that puts it around 5 o'clock. Uh, got in at around 3.30. A couple of my uh, subscribers and boat mates, boat neighbors... We're here to uh, help me come in, so that was awesome. And then, of course, I was uh, discussing with them why I've returned. But real bunch of great guys, everything. Uh, I've got the, the Falcon moored down, and I'm on my way to see about getting. Uh, start the process of unpacking her and get ready uh, to return back to my base of operations and figure out what to do next and uh, to see about how to get this done. Uh, stay tuned for a multi-part series on uh, a complete breakdown of the trip and what went right, what went wrong, and all that's entailed. As always, continue to wish me luck.